Admittedly, this example of a late 80s specialized street stomper is definitely, it's definitely a rough example. All of our components have lost their chrome protective coating and allowed a good amount of surface rust to start up. And there's some surface rust kind of coming through in the paint as well. But with some inspection, looking uh, looking in the seat tube area, it doesn't look like the rust is actually as bad as maybe it seems on this, uh, this obviously shed stored, thrown to the curb street stomper. I'd be willing to bet that a good cleaning, uh, disassembly, and then just grease and maintain as much of it as I can, that it'd be back to pretty well working order. So that's what I'm gonna do. Dishwashing, degreaser soap, hot water, sponge, and uh, maybe something a little bit abrasive coming up. I think like this is gonna be the biggest change right here. Do not, I repeat, do not underestimate the power of just cleaning a bike, like washing it, cleaning, like don't underestimate that. Now that it's uh, significantly less disgusting to, uh, to touch, we throw it in the stand, take it completely apart, and uh, go through the whole detailing process. Which honestly, to get it running and rolling again, uh, it probably doesn't need. I could probably just throw a seat in it and call it a day, but what's the fun in that? What's weird is I see stuff like this like all the time. There's like stuff tied to, but I don't understand it. Like why do people do this? Wow, I can't believe that came out that easy. <laughs> now that the color of the finish of the frame is kind of like brought back to life, we've got a protective coating of wax on it. Well, it's now time to really push the luck see if we can get into the headset bearings without any sort of drama. The same can be said for this bottom bracket. It's always this lock ring on the adjustable side that fights. So my expectations are low. This like down here looks like it's in really good shape, but looks can be deceiving. Oh, hey, all right. Okay, well, maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be this that fights me. Somewhere is messing. Ah! It moves. A little dirty, but not too bad. It's like brand new in there. There's no rust. It's not what I expected. Like at all. Kind of a uh, chocolate milky. Now, as a defense to make sure that it never has any problems, um, rust check. Kind of a bummer, but whatever. Um, the stock wheel, the stock wheel, I threw it in the truing stand to try and get like this. You're not gonna be able to see it, but there's a, well, there's a pretty awful wobble bend. That is, you can't fix it. Fortunately, um, actually when I bought the GTMX, the, uh, the seller gave me a spare freewheel wheel to go with it. So I'm gonna use it and uh, yeah. Bummer, but not that big of a deal.
It's done. It came together completely as I thought it would. No parts needing to be purchased. Old six speed stuff, it's tough as nails. Built like a tank. All you have to do is clean it. I did treat it to some new cables. Not cable housing, but cables, yes. Oh, and wheels. Yeah, just like elbow grease, literal grease, and some know-how. Now it's just a matter of taking it to the Spindat pit climb. But first, some notable expected shortcomings. Obviously this thing is about uh, two, three sizes too small for me. Tires, these tires are very old. They're very rotten and uh, well, they might just fall apart on me. The gearing's pretty good. I don't expect that to be a problem. Um, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah! Let's do this descent. Okay, before the sun is gone, completely, let's, let's at least look at what has been accomplished here today in some sort of detail. Pretty freaking good, right? Like, pretty amazing little transformation for just a day's worth of work. I am particularly bad at wheelies, but I think it'd make a cool intro to like wheelie this whole bridge. So uh, I'm gonna waste time doing that. You have to shut. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure that took 150 tries. Like I'm pretty sure. It can't be guaranteed. I hope it looks cool. If it doesn't get used in the intro, then it wasn't cool. Well, there, there you have it. One day, one garbage bike, one resulting totally mechanically sound bike. I need to uh, really start thinking before I speak. Anyway, uh, to address the questions that I know are coming, why didn't you change the tires? Well, this whole experiment, this entire day, one day, uh, took place with the things that I had available to me. Tires in a 26 inch wheel size were not something I had available to me. This whole thing, this, this entire day, this whole video, this is just a glorified tune-up. It's a tune-up with fancy makeup on, ready to go out for the night. That's all it was. And I said it at the end of the video where I finished Emma's kid's bike, the, the kid's bike that we gave to our niece. Don't throw bikes out. There are people who can get them going again and get them ready to like, they, they can be ridden. Pretty good before and after for one day, right?